Maya, welcome to Los Angeles as an Olympian. We followed you, of course, uh, with the links, but your thoughts on today's uh, tune-up and matchup and preparation for the games? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought we we came out and um, you know have uh, we're trying to accomplish a lot. You know, we were trying to get different different lineups. We were trying different schemes and um, wanting to uh, again just just have some different looks and. You know, the select team was very aggressive in trying to take advantage of, you know, those, those moments where we weren't uh, completely on the same page. But at the end, we, we were able to, to respond and uh, be the, the competitors and, the, and the, uh, the, the, the vets that we are and uh, finish the game. But, um, you know, we could have easily lost, you know, lost that game. So I'm glad we were able to come through and, um, you know, really build the momentum for next game. And from a human perspective, just before the game, under the national anthem or with the, the national anthem, the children, the TAPS children, the survivors, uh, speak about that emotion that was going through your, your mind and your body. Yeah, we, we were able to uh, say hello to them and kind of interact for a bit at our practice yesterday. And so getting to see them again was great and just making sure that they know that uh, in moments like this, in a year where we're having the Olympics and we're representing our country, it's a perfect opportunity to connect with the people who have truly served and, and have been uh, just, just very impacted by um, the things that this country stands for and the people that, that serve and give their lives. So if we can make their day better, if we can make them feel celebrated and special and, and to respect their family members, um, we absolutely want to do that. And it was a perfect opportunity right before the anthem. Thank you. Okay.